actual set video of the Batman and Catwoman right here. Take a look. Bang. You can see it right here in slow motion, guys. That is Batman and Catwoman official. Official right there. Oh, man, he wipes out. Pow! I'm Batman. That's right, guys. It's official set photos of Batman year one. We're going to see all the photos right now. But boy, oh boy, does this uh, Robert Patterson costume right here look just like Ben Affleck, the stunt double. But look at that 1960s cowl. We're going to analyze these pictures in a second. Let me show you the next one. Interesting ears on the bat bike as well as the belt. Cool fins on the gauntlets. Love the logo right here, which is clearly like I think the two gun handles that Kevin Smith wrote that uh, shot his parents, uh, shot uh, Batman's parents as a kid that they turned into the bat logo like the comic book has. And that 1966 Adam West throwback helmet, very interesting. Uh, I'm not sure with the glasses on the eyes. Boy, it looks just like Ben Affleck, though. Seriously, look how much that looks like Ben Affleck. Guys, make sure to share, follow, subscribe. Where do you see the next pictures coming up? It's going to blow your mind. There's so many, so make sure to follow and subscribe and share. I'll be posting a lot of updates coming soon. Wow, guys, this looks really cool. I mean, it's exciting to see the set photos, but how do you guys feel about the ears? Please post your comments below. Um, I know it has that organic stitching that kind of gives it that Daredevil Netflix mask uh, feel if you look really closely, but um, interesting to see it. I wonder if they're going to use that red filter on the whole thing based on those first photos released. I'm definitely not happy with the boots. I think the boots look really, really, really simple. Totally dig in the uh, logo here on the bat emblem, uh, which is kind of interesting. By the way, guys, this is comic book artist, writer, and director Greg White from Beyond Comics.tv running a contest where you could have a chance to actually be drawn possibly as a comic character or have your name appear in the co next comic book. Go to Beyond Comics.tv to check that out. Um, it's something like a contest, I should say, to correct myself there. I like the chest, guys. What do you think here about the anatomy? Um, kind of looks decent. I'm, I'm not complain, complaining about that too much. This is kind of cool over here. Uh, again, kind of an old style. Uh, I know it's year two Batman, I think they're doing, not year one. But, um, or they're basing it on that comic, supposedly. But, I mean, looks, it looks great. I mean, I mean, I don't know if I'm super excited about the costume design like I was with some other ones. Just studying the back of the cape, or I should say the cape will be digital, I'm pretty sure. But interesting to see how it looks there. A little bit more of a cleaner shot of uh, some of the, the, the rib cage over here on the side, the armor. It's a nice uh, high-res image there. Um, I do like the gauntlets. I think the gloves and gauntlets look pretty badass. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Those ears bother me, though. I know. I, I really appreciate the 1960s Adam West kind of throwback, though. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's Batman starting out, right? So we'll see how it looks. A little bit more action over here. You guys can see. Um, it'll be interesting to see it with the cape. I'm sure that's going to be digital. Boy, oh boy, does he look like Ben Affleck, though. Gosh, I, I don't know, man. That's, I wonder what this... Who the stunt double is, um, they probably are going to use him too for Ben Affleck, but Robert Patterson should look cool uh, as the character. It'll be cool to see how that looks and what he's doing with that over here. Um, just to see some of the other detail and the bat bike as you guys saw over here. So it's, it's interesting to see some of these images and uh, keep kind of going through them. So it's kind of a, it's an interesting take on Batman. I just am not super, super excited about it. Like, I want to be super excited about the costume, but I'm just like, okay, I am super excited about the logo. I love that logo. And again, I think those are the gun handles that they use to kill um, uh, the, the, the uh, Waynes, uh, his parents, um, Bruce Wayne's parents, who becomes Batman. He turns it into the bat symbol. That's what I'm assuming. I hope it's detachable and becomes a batarang because it's a missed opportunity if they don't do it. But I am totally missing that there's no head of the bat on here and no tail. So that bugs the hell out of me. Um, but what can you do? Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. I know Kevin Smith wrote that comic where they use the handles to make the logo. Uh, again, back to this picture, not feeling the boots, real cop out on the boots. Um, you know, the bike looks a little simple, but okay. Uh, sure, like the standard gloves. These are pretty standard these days, these gloves. I understand it looks like he's kind of making the costume, I'm assuming, but I hope it's not another origin story for the millionth reboot.
Again, here you can see he's crying because you know he's not he's not happy that they didn't put the cape in and that it's going to be digital. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little preview of the Batman. Make sure to follow and subscribe, and as they say in comics, to be continued. But see, this is the mask that I wish that they did. I think this would have been cool. Uh, I can't understand why they don't do this type of mask. This is a cosplayer who did this badass version. Um, that's Batman. I don't know why they don't do something like that, even though it has the chin guard. I love it. And I'm assuming that all you guys already saw this uh, kind of live-action trailer that they did over here, uh, showing the imagery of uh, the costume with the red lighting effect uh, on it here. Looking very, very, very closely, you can see some of the stitching uh, in the mask, you have to really kind of look closely to see it, but it, there is stitching along the corners of the mask, and it looks it looks cool. I mean, it's, it's definitely like a cool look for the character, but I think it could be better. Like, this is something that gets me excited. If, if I saw it look like this, oh man, see, then I would have been all pumped and excited by it. That would have been cool. So I think they're missing this type of look. But hey, maybe they'll light it properly and they'll do an awesome job. Guys, post your comments below. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What do you think about the ears? I'm not liking what they did with the ears or the collar, but I think the rest of it's okay. I don't like the boots. I like the gloves. So post your comments below. Make sure to subscribe and follow. And as they say in comics, to be continued. Guys, this is my new comic book. If you get a chance to check it out, Gakito, co-created by writer Brendan Wilson and me, Greg Wyke, the artist. It's available at beyondcomics.tv. Please check it out. Thanks.